the holidays can be a difficult time for anyone who has lost a loved one and fallen heroes are no exception. Time News reporter Sydney Jacksheimer shares how the Buchanan-based nonprofit Sirens and Salutes is remembering them in a new way and the message that they hope people will take away from their display. 268 star ornaments, each one representing someone killed in the line of duty this year, from police officers, firefighters, military, canines, and even a horse. You don't really realize how much there are until you see something like this with all these names, each on a single star, you know, then it kind of starts to hit home. Each year, the Buchanan-based organization Sirens and Salutes, led by Bill Price, <laughs> puts up a tree to honor the fallen hero. Rows, typically outside of the Buchanan Fire Station. But this year, they're putting up another display as part of Hotel Roanoke's Fashions for Evergreens. And we thought it was a great honor to be able to put a, fall, a 2022 Fallen Heroes tree in the hotel this year as part of their tree display. Some stars representing first responders from our region who were killed in the line of duty, like Covington Police Officer Caleb Ogilvie and Bridgewater College Police Officer John Painter. You know, they got up just like you and I do each morning to go to work or go start their day. And, you know, they said, kiss their loved one goodbye and said, see you when I get home from work. And they never come home. With two displays this year in Hotel Roanoke and in Buchanan, Price hopes twice the number of eyes will be able to reflect and remember this year's fallen heroes. Um, I hope that they just take a time and, and reflect and look at these names and, you know, realize that, you know, these guys put their lives on the lines every day to protect all of us, so they should be remembered. In Roanoke, Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you.